Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about Winscribe for Firefox. Winscribe is an application that allows you to block ads and trackers as well as to safeguard your privacy online. Here on the website winscribe.com you can see that if you are navigating from a Firefox browser you're going to have the option to add to Firefox and at any time you can also install for Windows. If you're using Mac or another operating system then you'll be able to see that option to install for those operating systems as well. Today we're going to be looking at how to install the Firefox extension, so we're going to go ahead and click on Add to Firefox, and you can see we'll be redirected to the Firefox add-ons page where we can install Winscribe for Firefox. If you want, you can also go to the Firefox add-ons main page and search for Winscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add to Firefox, and you can see it's going to allow me to install this Firefox add-on. And once the Firefox add-on has installed, you're going to come to this page here where you can go ahead and create an account if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and create an account, so I'm going to click on Use for Free. And I'm going to choose a username and a password. And optionally, you can put in your email as well. When you're done, click on Create Free Account. Alright, so once you've created your account, you can see you're going to get redirected to this page here where it's going to prompt you to click on the Winscribe icon in your Firefox browser. And as you can see here, I'm logged into my account. So here you can see that the cruise control feature is automatically enabled. With the cruise control feature active, if you navigate to a geolocation restricted website, it's going to automatically adjust so that you can view that content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and search for HBO Go. And we're going to go to play.hbogo.com. Okay, so here on the HBO Go website, I'm accessing this website from the United States, and this is a geolocation restricted website. So if I was accessing this from another country like the UK or Germany, uh, then I would get a message telling me that I cannot access this content because it is geolocation restricted. Now in this case, the cruise control feature is not really needing to do anything because I'm already accessing this website from an approved country. But if I was accessing this website from somewhere like the UK or Germany, then it would automatically adjust the proxy so that I can access this content. Now let's go ahead and go to a website that I otherwise would not be able to browse to if I wasn't using the cruise control feature. So I'm going to go ahead and Google search iPlayer. And here we have bbc.co.uk slash iPlayer. Alright, so now that I'm on the website, I'm going to go ahead and just play one of these videos here. Click on this first one and you can see that the video is playing without any issues. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and of course the cruise control feature is active which is why I'm able to access this content. If I did not have the cruise control feature active I would not be able to access this because this content is restricted to uh, people who are accessing the website from the UK. So if you're not accessing this from the UK then you won't be able to view the content. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up to my Winscribe icon here in Firefox and I'm going to turn off the cruise control feature. Now I'm going to reload this web page and let's see what happens. Here you can see that this is the message I would usually get. BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. So since I'm not accessing the website from the UK and I'm not using my cruise control feature, I would not be able to access this content. Okay, so next I wanted to go ahead and talk about some of the specific proxies that you can use with Winscribe. So if we load up our Winscribe add-on here, you can see again we've just talked about the cruise control feature, but if you click on that area you can see that there are also different proxies for different locations specifically. So for example I have here the east and west coast of the United States, Canada, France, Germany, etc. And so I can click on one of these and I'm going to be connected to a proxy for that country. So for example let's go ahead and connect to a uh, German proxy here and you can see that as soon as I select it it goes ahead and enables that proxy. So now if I go to ipinfo.io this is going to allow me to view uh, what my IP address is showing as. So right now to the world my IP address is showing as this here and that IP address is associated with Germany. So if I'm trying to access a website that is restricted to German users then I'm going to be able to access that content with this proxy enabled. Let's go ahead and try another one here so I can go back into my add-on and choose down here something like for example Hong Kong and if I connect to this proxy I can go ahead and reload my page here and you can see I now have a new IP address showing and it's showing that I'm in Hong Kong 
Okay, so next I wanted to talk about some of the privacy options that are offered with Winscribe. So if you open up Winscribe here and you go in the top left hand corner and click on this icon, you can click on privacy options to see what is offered. So here are some of the options that are offered include the ad blocker. So the ad blocker is going to allow you to block ads on different web pages that you visit. The anti-social feature is going to remove social media buttons from different websites. The untraceable feature is going to allow you to block known ad beacons and trackers. And split personality is going to allow you to randomly rotate your user agent, which means that the website you're visiting is going to think you're accessing that website from a different browser. And finally, we have our whitelist. So any website that you add to your whitelist is no longer going to be affected by the ads and trackers that are being blocked by uh, Winscribe. So if you have a website where you want to be able to view all the ads and content on there without it being affected at all by Winscribe, you can add it to your whitelist and uh, that will no longer be affected. So as an example here, let's go ahead and go to wired.com. And since we have Winscribe active and we have not whitelisted this particular website, all the ads on the site are going to be blocked. So I'll go ahead and continue to navigate to some of the pages here on wired.com. Now you can see that for the most part I'm able to browse through this website without a problem, but eventually you may get a message like this. So here you can see that the message it's giving me is saying that uh, it's detected the ad blocking software that I'm using and in order to continue using the website uh, I'll need to uh, disable it. So here's another example of where the whitelist feature would be very handy because I can go ahead and add wired.com to my whitelist and this message will no longer appear but then I don't also have to disable any of the ad blocking technology that Winscribe provides. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and click on my Winscribe add-on and go back up here to my privacy options and click on manage whitelist. Now I'm going to click on add site to whitelist and you can see that wired.com will populate down below. If I reload the website, you can see that I can now browse through this page without any of the content being blocked. And so here you can actually see I'm getting a message that says thank you, so it's detected that I'm no longer blocking that content. I can click on continue to navigate back to this page. So you'll notice here at the top that now advertisements will appear, and that's because now that this website has been added to the whitelist, it's no longer going to block any of the ads or trackers on this website. However, because Wired.com does not allow ad blockers to block the content on their website, you have to make sure this website is added to your whitelist so that you can continue to view the content. And since I've done that and I've added this website to the whitelist, even though there are advertisements that will still appear, I can browse the website normally. Okay, so next I wanted to talk about the secure link feature that is offered with Winscribe. So the secure link feature is essentially a URL shortening service that's offered by Winscribe. It's built right into the Winscribe add-on and it's going to scan the page that you're trying to send someone for ad beacons and third-party trackers that may compromise the privacy of the person who's accessing the web page. That website's then going to receive a privacy score from A to F, which will indicate how safe that page is to visit. So here you can see that we're on CNN.com. So if we open up the Winscribe add-on in our right corner here, you can see that I'm going to have the option to copy my secure link. And if I wanted to, I also have the option to add a password or a message to that secure link. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that URL that I've just copied into my browser here and click on enter. So here's what the website is going to look like when I load it with the secure link URL. It's going to give me this information here. It's going to give me a privacy score on the website, CNN.com. And you can see that in this case, it's showing F because uh, it's detected 12 trackers. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean this site is malicious, but because of the amount of trackers it's detected, uh, it's going to indicate to the person who's accessing the website that there is the possibility there could be malicious content on there. So here you can see I can either click on this box here so that it doesn't show me this page again, or I can go ahead and just click on Continue Protected. Now when I click on that Continue Protected link, it's going to take me to CNN.com. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look and see what it would look like if I was accessing that link uh, from the user's perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that link into my browser here and click on Enter. And so here you can see that it's going to look very similar, except it's going to also have uh, this option here at the top that's going to ask if you'd like to add Winscribe. 
and you also have the option to add WinScribe by clicking on this little link down here. Other than that, it's going to look pretty similar. You can see here it's going to say continue unprotected, and if I click on that, it's going to go ahead and take me to CNN.com. Okay, so that's just a quick look at WinScribe for Firefox, the best way to block ads and trackers and safely browse the internet online. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.